Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and just like Brie Larson and Captain Marvel, I'm not wearing any makeup! <laughs> More on that heavy bullshit in a minute. But first, let me give you a little bit of background. So if you haven't seen, we got another Endgame trailer today. Oh my god, that happened. Uh, when we're done addressing the nonsense surrounding it, I will give you my, my full-on response to that. Uh, so hang tight for that. But, uh, of course... The SJWs aren't happy because Captain Marvel was their movie, which means anything that isn't Captain Marvel is anti-SJW and must therefore be eradicated from the universe. So what's the problem with this trailer? The problem is that the for the brief moment that we see uh, Carol Danvers, she's wearing makeup! Oh my god! How dare she! How dare women wear makeup in this woke age? Because as everybody knows, wearing makeup is a sign that you are anti-feminist. You must wear makeup, or if you, you must wear no makeup at all in order to support feminism. The second you put any makeup on, you are an anti-feminist. Right, SJWs? Because none of you ever wear makeup ever at all. And don't have any insecurities about how you look without it. Duh. While we're on the subject, y'all y'all who are shaving your legs out there anti-feminist right there anti-feminist because shaving your legs is part of the female beauty standard that was created by men just like the male beauty standard is created by women so uh y'all are just doing that to please men i heard all sorts of nonsense when i try to bring that point up no i just like the way it feels really you like the way it feels so much that you're gonna spend that much money over the course of your life and go through that much inconvenience yeah uh-huh okay sure whatever helps you sort through that cognitive dissonance so anyway we're all mad Mad now because Brie Larson's wearing makeup now in uh because she never did that at all in in Captain America she straightened her hair how dare she we are outraged that she straightened her hair uh where was the outrage when when Scarlett Johansson went platinum blonde for Infinity War without oh no she was just in disguise without even changing her hairstyle disguise BS great excuse for her to just go Classic Hollywood platinum blonde. Look, I'm so disgusted by all this. I can't even talk. Uh, great excuse for just go platinum, platinum blonde, like classic Hollywood biatch. Uh, and and no one, no one seemed to have an issue with that except me. And so we're all outraged that, she, that Carol Danvers is straight, is, has straight hair now. Brie Larson has straightened her hair in this in this moment here. Uh, and that's an issue for us. None of you guys had an issue with the fact that she apparently, between crash landing on Earth and hitting the road with Nick Fury, took time to curl her hair. None of you guys seemed to have an issue with that. I did. I noticed that. I was like, what is that nonsense? Don't believe me? Listen to my review. It's all right there. That's some heavy nonsense. Like, I'm sorry. You want somebody to take you out of the movie? That's BS. That's BS right there. So everyone's out there like, there's no reason she put on makeup and straightened her hair. How do you know? You haven't seen this movie yet. For all you know, they could be coming from some big old gala together. She could have been coming from a fancy event. She could have been undercover as a woman who's attractive. Who knows? Who knows why she has makeup on? You don't. You just want something to be outraged about because it's fun for you. Because being happy, being excited that, oh my god, here's another Endgame trailer. Oh my god, look at everything that's not revealing to us. That can only mean that so many crazy things are going to happen because it's right around the corner and they're not telling us anything. Rather than be excited by all of those prospects, you choose to be miserable and outraged by something that's utter horseshit. I actually saw somebody write uh, that, that Brie Larson is Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel wore little to no makeup. Bullshit. So back to the point, like I said, look at me, not wearing any makeup. I... I'm wearing a ton of makeup right now. I'm actually wearing a lot more makeup than I usually wear for my videos. Uh, I just did it in such a way that it's not sticking out at you. I'm not like, I don't didn't wear the, as bold of a mascara as I usually choose or as bold of eyeliner colors, but I put on eyeshadow. I usually never put on eyeshadow. I put stuff on my lips. I put extra layers of all the foundation-y stuff and contouring and weird stuff that I never would usually do because actually to make yourself look flawlessly skinned and beautiful with uh, well, in an all natural kind of way actually takes a butt ton of work and quite a bit of makeup thank you very much Brie Larson's skin flawless throughout that film that is 
pounds upon pounds of makeup. Because by the way, first of all, and this is not even a criticism because everyone has to wear makeup for the camera. The guys in that movie were wearing makeup too. If you just put a camera on someone's face, it looks shiny and washed out like this. Ah, if you put, if you don't put any makeup on them, it's, it's ridiculous. But you put tons of makeup to make someone's skin look flawless in, in HD like that. Um, and you can see clear as day in almost every shot. She's wearing eyeliner. She's wearing mascara. She's wearing that cute muted pink shade on her lips. It's all there. She's probably wearing shadow. She's definitely got contouring on. You can see the blush. So don't give me that horseshit that she's not wearing any makeup. You just don't like it when you can see that a woman has worn makeup in an effort to be beautiful. Uh, let's not even just get started on her eyebrows and the plucking pattern on that. I'm forged. I don't do anything to my eyebrows. They're just naturally like this. Suck it, world. Uh, but but that's the whole, the whole idea is like oh oh you we want our women to be flawless and beautiful we just we, they can put in as much work as they want to to do that as long as we can't tell they put the work in so shame on the directors the chauvinistic directors for for putting a slightly darker shade uh, of lipstick on her a little more blush and a bolder mascara because that is literally it that is the only difference oh and straightened her hair a bit even though it's pretty darn straight in half the scenes in Captain Marvel anyway uh, and she spends plenty of time curling it so just Shut your damn mouths and be happy for once. I know it's a, a foreign concept that you can't wrap your little heads around, but just try to enjoy life a little. Try to just not be miserable about things that don't matter all the effing time. Now that aside, all right, my feelings on this Endgame trailer, I'm just so excited for this damn movie to come out. I can't wait for it to happen. Um, we really didn't, we, we didn't get too much information. We learned one really, really critical thing in this, and that is uh, obviously, which I think we all knew anyway, Tony Stark and Nebula are going to survive this flight back from La La Land. Um, because we see them in this monta, you know, in that in that little scene, marching with everybody else. So they survived the trip. Oh my God! Everyone clearly was convinced that Tony Stark was gonna die like that. Uh, but no, they survived. So wow, uh, what a big reveal! And not really, but like it's kind of, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's comforting. I don't know. And if it wasn't already clear before, it's pretty clear now that the main objective of this film is not to defeat Thanos, uh, but to go back in time and stop him from snapping in the first place. I think we were all pretty much on board with that. But the tenor. Of this commercial of this uh, trailer if you weren't really really reinforces that so uh what have we learned today endgame is probably going to be awesome and sjw's are morons so pretty much par for the course in other news water is wet and the sky is blue so uh thanks for listening guys go ahead and press that like button uh if you enjoyed this video and share comment all of that stuff helps so much more than you know there's a video popping up that says get involved with me click on that you get all my links patreon uh t-shirts teespring right that's got my new fifi's t-shirts fifi's they're like feelings only cuter so go ahead and get your fifi's t-shirts today those are super cool social media links business uh, contact ways to get in, in touch with me so go ahead and check out all of that stuff and uh you guys are so amazing i love you all and we'll talk again real soon